TC Top Cat here. Basically, for the purposes of the video, is to show my clan mates how to play clan raid and the fundamentals of being in the clan. Just so you know, you're helping your teammates out. You're getting the maximum from everyone being in the clan, basically. Because this week, as you can see, we've had quite a tough week. We've been out against some uh, tough teams, some top 100 teams, and they've sort of wiped the floor of us a little bit. Um, we've tried in a few of the raids, but if you can see, they're, they, they're for much, much more stronger than ours. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to just show a few people. If you're new or if you're, uh, you know, old to the game, you know, you may do it a different way and you might think my way will help you or whatever. Happy days. Right, so when you get in a clan, uh, obviously, um, to get in some of the top clans, you've got to be high ranked. So obviously, it's done with a rank. And as you can see, as I scroll down the screen, you've got different rank players. I'm Emperor, so I've basically got, got to the end. I've played it quite a lot. Um, I know how it all works. So basically, what you've got, in this section is you've got the clan rank system so obviously how it works my my best player is uh josh freedom um and he is currently uh lieutenant colonel uh no sorry a major so you know that's how it works um minimum to get into mine is a warrior because i'm sort of like a top 200 250 team i would say you get in the top 100 every now and then uh so yeah that's how it's done so if you want to get into the better thing this is how you do it you come into here and you look how you can score your points so you can get get your player up go through all these little little section and it tells you what everything uh all the points you get for everything so like winning a week uh wall winning chest opening so look when we win the week you get uh, basically 420 points. Um, yeah, and that's basically how the cla uh, the rank system works, mate. Um, so w once once you obviously understand uh, how that works, you can um, basically go in. And the importance of being in the clan, really, is the only way to get your modules up. Because if you're not in a clan, you're not going to get your modules up, as you can well see. And the importance of modules... Wow. This is the most important thing in the game this is what you're going to get you sort of one shot kills if you're level ones level twos and you don't rank it up you're not going to get kills you're going to get killed a lot so the aim of the game is to get your modules up and the only way to get your modules up is to get silver so let me explain right we're going to go into the war block so you go to war um you're new to the game you're going to be doing this a lot differently you're going to be looking up and down this board as you come into a new clan and you're going to be picking easy ones to do which i don't blame you but as for the purpose of this video this is what i'm going to explain to my clan on a tuesday when this is empty and we start off you start at the bottom that is your fault as you can well see at the bottom so what you do is you make your way up to the board now the six most important blocks other than uh every block on the board are these ones here as you can well see they're the clan clan forts now when you come on a tuesday the aim is not to play all the little little blocks around here is to get to the middle of the board and work your way up to get these six forts because the importance of these six bl blocks is all depends on how much silver you want if you don't want a lot of silver, then if you don't get these forts, you're not going to get a lot of silver. Simple as that. That is how you get your income. Each fort represents each section. Now, what I mean by that is there's six teams, so there's six sections. All these little blocks in the middle, if you look, say, for instance, we're going to go to that one there. It says Sky Islands, Team Fight, Income, One. Now, if we go one step to the right... That says Atlantis, Team Fight, Income 2. Now, that's because that's the boundary of this section. Now, to score the law points in this, it's all and well and good to get as many blocks as you can. But really, you need to get the, the most scoring blocks to win the game. Now, let me just show you. If you look at the red team, they're totally dominating us, everyone at the moment. Um, they've basically got all the, all the six forts and... The most important block, block one. 
The reason I say this, say this is because there's a few clan me members that don't really quite understand the importance of this block. Now, if you look at what it says on this one, it says Dead City, Hard Raid, Income, 30. What I mean by this now is, if you've got 50 active players, every four hours when the income comes, there's six a day. That's worth 30 flags each person. So that's 50 players times 30. That's a lot of V... VP points you're scoring so the importance of getting that block it just can't that is the block to get once you get that you need your six forts that's what gets your income and the rest you just got to grind and get now what I would say is you know you work your way up to the to the middle you get you obviously your first two the cl two closest to you and then you work your way around you get these these uh, two here then you work your way to here. Once you've got to there, you've pretty much have got a perimeter around the middle anyway. And then you start work, working your way into the middle. And then leaving the outer blocks, the easier blocks, for the lesser players to be able to come and come and do easy. So, you know, you got, you're maximising the clan, um, the usage of your players. Like the better players just really try to do the harder blocks. You know, everyone wants to come on and do the ones that they want to do, which is fair enough. I don't blame them. But... You know, you do an easy one, you go and do a hard one. Uh, the easiest way to do this, I don't think I need to explain, you know, some of the top teams, they'll, they'll tell you. You come on, do it in pairs, do it in threes, do it in fours. You get, a, uh, like, one of the missions done, like, say, a hundred backup kills on one of the maps. Well annoying. You know that's going to take you five, six, seven games to get some good kills. That's going to take one or two games if you go in as a team. So just to make it easier... That's what I would, you know, that's the best way to go about it, you know. If you've got enough players to come on and play like that, that's the way it is. But if you currently look here, it's Friday night, me and uh, Freedom currently on. So, you know, we're we're a good clan, but we're, we're not up there because we don't have enough players on all the time to be able to dominate teams, you know, when you win week in, week out. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you... Um, Basically, a uh, clan raid because we've got a few players in our team that don't quite know what they're doing when it comes to clan raid. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this is I'm going to go and do a tank test. Now, a tank test will take you into basically a clan raid. You can do it on your own or whatever. But I've had to um, weaken my, my base for this just so I can um, show my team and, you know other teams ways that you can do this on your own bearing in mind my fort at the moment is 3200 i believe so you know i'm doing a 3200 fort on my own so it's not impossible to do this on your own and i'm going to show you the way of doing it as you can well see there there was a mine i took that mine out as my tank is close to it um, my tank goes over it i'm gone they respawn each trap on the map respawns after 30 seconds beware of that just take out these men coming round. Right. What you're doing here, usually there's turrets there, so you're going to take the turrets out. Best way to go about this, if you're up against a really hard team, use your tank as your shield, because the whole point of this is to get to the tank to the other side. You know, the tank's got much stronger armour than what, what we, we have, and obviously ourselves. So if we get hit, hit a few times by... You know, a couple of men coming over the bridge, you're likely to go down. Look, I'll show you. You know, you take quite, quite a few little hits from that, and you, your health's gone, just one little zap. A few people come down the corner, you're in trouble. So, what I do on this, you know, generally you've got turrets, you take them turrets out down there, and you try and make your way up to here. Right, for the purpose of this, and this is for the clan, what I do is I get to this pod. Now, what I want to expect you to do is get to the pod, Stand still next to us and just start shooting. The first ones you want to be taken out are these two ones that I'm going for. There's usually two turrets here. They're the closest ones. Bearing in mind, if you look at the screen, I'm getting twice the shot power because it's damage boost. That is the whole purpose of the tank staying where it is. That's why I keep saying stand still to my players because if they move, the tank moves. The other advantage to this, because I'm on an armor pod, if, you, if there's two or three of you here, one goes down, you revive him straight away. It literally counts one, two, three, back up, and they're up with full, ar full armor, full health. 
that's the reason why I say stand still. So if you go down, you haven't got a crawl, you know, potentially get us killed in the meantime, waiting for you to come over. If you're there, you, you're getting respawned straight away. Once once I clear them out of the way, I'll start making moving the tank rounds. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use the tank as a shield because obviously it's still sticky out there. I don't know what's coming. I'm going to use the tank. Look, tank taking them out, no problem. I can now concentrate on wiping this dude out out here. Once he's out of the way. Right. I'm still in the tank damage boost area and I'm moving the tank along. And what I'm doing is I'm, tank, I'm taking things out as I'm going along. So basically I've got all the turrets in my aim. They can't get me because I'm too far away. I'm going to wipe them out. Basically I've now cleared the path. All I've got to do really is walk this tank up there. Right, now we've got to the traps. Don't blow the traps up before you get to them. Because if you do, they're going to respawn within 30 seconds. You don't know where they're You're going to walk on them they're going to kill you. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow them all up because I know they're all there. I've got 30 seconds to make my way through now. I'm going to get a bit of armour. No, I'm not. I'm going to run. Bottle it. This is what I do. I get the tank to here and I'll stand in this corner. Watch the tank move. Right, I'm not getting touched. I might get a few little shots here and there. But the tank goes safely over that line, checkpoint. I'm going to let that stop. Once that stops, I'm up. I'm behind that tank and I'm just going to follow this tank all the way to the end. Hoping that he takes the men out along the way. Because bearing in mind on my own, if it was me and a few players, you'd probably have a few jumping around shooting them at the moment. But currently I'm on my own. So once I get this tank up to here, the key is to try and keep the left and right areas clear. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get the tank there and the tank's going to start shooting me because you're in trouble. So it's not going to shoot the gate. So you need to be... Clearing the way for these, so then the tank can shoot the gate. He's going to clear the gate, and then basically, I'm going to show you what I do. This is what I do. I go into this thing. I've seen people there, so I've run this side of the thing. Then I'm going to run around the back. There's people. I'm always looking around. He ain't going to hurt me. Always looking around. Always looking around. Always looking around. Always looking around. I'm going to probably peek around there a little bit. Clear the way. Look, they run off now. I'm out of danger. You're going to have a few people jumping around in the front. Obviously, I like to stay around the back. So, for this, basically, I'm clear now. You know, they haven't even seen me. Job done. Game over. Safe. That's how you do clan raid. Nice and easy on your own. Now, some bases, they've got the uh, space base. And they'll have a bit that blocks you from going around the back. So... On that one, you have obviously got to do a little bit more strategically to be able to win it if you're on your own. But if you're with teammates, it should be a doddle. Now, when you do get into that circle, if you stand on your own, like, I was safe there, but when you go into one of these sort of 10,000 forts, they they got men running everywhere. If you stand in pairs, one goes down, right? The other person stood next to him is going to revive him. And likely it is. With within three seconds, if you've got your, your, uh, your heroic epi in your hand, you're going to revive him. They're going to come back up with full health and armour. And then you're going to do for the same for them. So you can do pretty much a lot of the forts with two men if you use that strategy. I have done it a few times myself, so it's worth doing it. Um, so, yeah, that's how you do basically do clan raid. If you move that tank off the off the pod it makes a lot harder to try and kill them turrets because the damage boost is so important if you haven't got damage boost if you're a new clan the moment you get the de uh, the amplifier put that on because it gives you the damage boost as long as you're in that tank circle you're going you're getting sort of like i don't know if it is double power but you're getting 40 percent, 20 percent extra power or whatever that really do make a difference right the way i've set up my tank i'm going to show you is i've set mine up with um the revolving tank turrets now the reason for this if you look at this the damage radius is 50 and the damage is 85 2000 durability which not too bad at all that all improves as you get the levels up now, if I was to put, obviously, the tank homing rockets on there, if you look, the radius is only 20. So, I really, I want the front of my tank to cover as much as possible. So, that's the reason for putting the revolver on the front. And then I leave the two sides with the missiles on the side. Laser on the back, which is pretty good. Now, this one here is important because you come to two corners on the game. 
where there's potentially men coming from the corners that are going to take your men out because they come from behind and you don't realise, you, you know, you're shooting forward, that Tesla coil will help you out. So just a little tip, put that on. Um, that will help you out. Um, yeah, and then I've got, a, uh, obviously, radar, which, you know, gives you a better view of scope. Um, when, obviously, with clans... You know, these top clans, you look at the top clans, like we go for leaderboards, waterfall and all that. I watched a video on them and basically they got like pretty much, you know, say 40, 30 players on all the time. So they're all fighting for like one, two, three blocks all the time, which is not great. Um, that's just the way it is. When you get into these better clans and you, you know, you want to go and earn your silver, you know, some of these players down the bottom, they probably ain't even open a block. They probably haven't even done a block. All they've done is just earn income. So if you want to go and get a load of silver, you go to one of these clans and just, you know, earn, do get your income. And But obviously, to make a, a really good, good clan from scratch, you need players that are going to come on, you know, day in, day out. Um, just to basic um, get your war blocks, get you up. In the other, um, so you've obviously got sections in your golden division. In the other divisions, it's not not so hard. In the steel division, it's it's quite easy. You'll always have one good team that's been relegated. You'll be out against. And then in the wooden, it's pretty much if you started a new team up and you got a few good players in there, you you wipe the floor. And that's another good way of getting silver. But what we'll say is. You know, if you are working your way up, store your silver and then come into the gold and then spend it here because you get more for your buck in the gold than what you do in the steel and what you do in the, the wooden. You don't get as much rewards. So just just remember that when you're uh, in a clan. And just, look, you know, help your, clean, your clan mates out as much as you can. Play as many games as you can with your teammates. It always helps. And it always helps you having a... a, a you know, a lot of players on, as you can well see. Right, that's me done. Hopefully that helps um, anyone who's playing Pixel Gun, creating a clan and being able to do clan raid. Um, you just got to remember, the more the more blocks you take over, the more likely you are you're going to win. But the key blocks on the board are the ones that I pointed out to you. You know, number 22... 37, 25, 28, 31, 34. And goes without saying, block number one, I stress, this is the most important block in Clan Raid. In, in Clan War, sorry. As you can well see in Cumber 30. That's why you get the highest reward for the win. 1,000, as you can well see, if you win it. Um, and once you get into the Golden League, it's obviously you're playing hard raids all the time. I enjoy playing them. Not a lot of people do. I use it as target practice. I'll get a sniper and then I'll I'll walk around with a, with a sniper no scope and the zombies as I'm walking around using, you know, a bit of the free time to kill zombies easy. But at the same time, practicing, you know, it's not all about running to do the objectives. Because if nine times out of ten, me walking around shooting them and then getting to the objective, doing it, I win. I'll always come first. Because I ain't just run to the objective and go on and do it. Right, I think that's me done anyway. Thank you for listening. Um, you know, you can slate me if I've done it a different way, how you'd do it or whatever. But I do believe this is going to help a lot of people within a clan to understand what clans are all about and obviously how to get your rankings up key your modules and then also obviously with the silver you need to be buying chests for the clan because you're not going to get your forts or your tank up without upgrading the parts needed to get the fort or the tanks to what level you want them so you need players that are going to come on and spend the silver opening the boxes to get all the rewards to, um, yeah, help you out. Right. That is me done now anyway. That's enough of me.
Right, thanks guys. Thanks for listening and I hope this do help. Over and out.